Sealers were among the earliest to go closer to the Antarctic landmass. Perhaps in the earlier part of the 19th century, the oldest known human remains in the Antarctic region was a skull. Dated from 1819 to 1825, that belonged to a young woman on Yamana Beach at the South Shetland Islands. The woman, who was likely to have been part of a sealing expedition, was found in 1985. The first person to see Antarctica or its ice shelf was long thought to have been the British. Sailor Edward Bransfield, a captain in the Royal Navy, who discovered the tip of the Antarctic Peninsula on 30 January 1820. However, a captain in the Imperial Russian Navy, Fabian Gottlieb von Bellingshausen, recorded seeing an ice shelf on 27 January. The American sealer Nathaniel Palmer, whose sealing ship was in the region at this time, may also have been the first to sight the Antarctic Peninsula. The first Russian Antarctic expedition, led by Bellingshausen and Mikhail Lazarev on the 985-ton sloop of war Vostok and the 530-ton support vessel Murny, reached a point within 32 kilometers, 20 miles, of Queen Maud land and recorded sighting an ice shelf at 69 degrees 21 minutes 28 seconds south 2 degrees 14 minutes 50 seconds west. On 27 January 1820, the sighting happened three days before Bransfield sighted the land of the Trinity Peninsula of Antarctica, as opposed to the ice of an ice shelf and ten months before Palmer did so in November 1820. The first documented landing on Antarctica was by the American sealer John Davis, apparently at Hughes Bay on 7 February 1821. Although some historians dispute this claim, as there is no evidence Davis landed on the Antarctic continent rather than an offshore island. On the 22nd of January 1840, two days after the discovery of the coast west of the Balleny Islands, some members of the crew of the 1837-1840 expedition of the French explorer Jules Dumont d'Urville disembarked on the Dumoulin Islands, off the coast of Adélie Land, where they took some mineral algae and animal samples erected the French flag and claimed French sovereignty over the territory. The American captain Charles Wilkes led an expedition in 1838-1839 and was the first to claim he had discovered the continent. The British naval officer James Clark Ross failed to realize that what he referred to as the various patches of land recently discovered by the American French and English navigators on the verge of the Antarctic Circle, were connected to form a single continent. The American explorer Mercator Cooper landed on East Antarctica on 26 January 1853. The first confirmed landing on the continental mass of Antarctica occurred in 1895 when the Norwegian-Swedish whaling ship Antarctic reached Cape Adair.